Hey everyone, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. In this video, I'm just kind of kind of be going over the 1.4 rerun banners uh, for Venti and Child. And I just want to kind of just give you my overview and just a few thoughts of uh, each character. I do have them both to friendship level 10. I've been using them for quite a bit now and have some sort of knowledge for both characters. So getting into this, uh, we're going to talk about Child first. Child is a main DPS Hydro Bow user. And what's unique about Child is he has this stance switch. It goes to these dual daggers with Hydro and you're always inflicting Hydro damage and increases his attack speed. Um, he has a different charge attack and his attack speed is really fast compared to the his normal stance with the bow and his bow charge attack. Also, whenever you do change stances, his elemental burst changes. So with the bow, you do kind of like this bow shot. And then with the Raging Tide uh, present, the elemental skill, his uh, it turns into the spear and slashes forward. Um, it's really cool. It just makes him feel like he has more abilities. Uh, makes him feel really unique. Also, it does kind of make him feel a little bit more complicated because he has this uh, Riptide status effect that he could leave on the characters depending if you're using the bow or the Raging Tide. Uh, that all kind of interplays with each other. So uh, I do have a video that I will link above that kind of explains child's abilities more and just kind of my thoughts overall on child uh, like a more in-depth uh, video so you could just check that out if you're interested in that we're gonna go further with his passive is his main passive the one that you start with is uh master of weaponry which levels up by one normal attacks for each character on the team so say if one character is level six with their normal attack then placing child on the team will make it level seven um this is the most unique passive i think in the game at the moment I, I hope they continue to make passive like this uh because the most of the passives are just like cooking passives and i just feel like they're not trying enough with the passives and it, it would be really cool to see more unique passes in the game just a couple things like a couple negative things about child is he has trouble fighting hydro enemies if you're fighting anybody who has like a hydro shield like abyss mage or like the fatui then it, it just it really just stumps him so you definitely need like different elements uh with child if you're going to be running him as the main dps also like geo shields have a really hard time with child he also has this problem where he needs a really specific late game build at least in my mind in my opinion to actually do tons and tons of damage uh, so if you could get this really late game, like tons of critical, uh, critical rate and critical damage with attack percent in maybe energy recharge or element. See, between those two, it really depends on how you're using them. Um, if you want to spam his ult or if you just want to kind of, you know, do elemental reactions. But I feel like he really requires a late game build to really, really, really shine. Also, he, he also needs that kind of like a specific team build that really help him out because he's a really greedy character. He wants to be on the, out on the field for as long as he can, the fighting. But the problem is that with that, whenever you use your Raging Tide and uh, the longer you use this ability for, so say if you use it for 20 seconds, it's going to have a 20 second cooldown. And then if you max the, the ability out, it's like a 45 second cooldown roughly around there. And the problem with that is if you don't have a second or a third character that could either deal a lot of damage when he's either off on the field or if you don't have him built really properly like I was saying before, then using his bow might not be the best choice. But again, if you have him built properly and his bow is doing 7 or 8k, then you don't really need to change him out because you're doing enough charge attack damage uh, over time to actually wait the cooldown. But if you only have like say Faisal or a Jiangling, but they're not really built properly to do damage just to kind of just support the main DPS, then you, there may be some issues there. And he, he has a lot of micromanaging to do, which is not really a bad thing. The micromanaging is not a bad thing, but maybe some people don't really want to go around micromanaging a character. So that, that could be a bad thing for specific people. Uh, but overall, he's a really good DPS. Uh, and if you build him properly, man, and he will be shredding enemies i'm telling you like he was just gut down enemies i don't have him completely where i want him to be but to the point where i have him now like if i keep continue to get a little bit more critical rate and fine tuning him oh man he's just he's an amazing character he's definitely worth being a main dps if you're looking for a main dps um so here now we're just gonna uh go over to venti and the Venti is completely different than Child because he's the support character who kind of goes into the, the sub DPS route, but I would more classify him as a support character. And the really cool thing about Venti is that he has a lot of energy recharge, so he's able to spam his all 
constantly and with his ultimate he has this effect where uh, it just kind of crowd controls all the medium the small enemies into this kind of like hurricane tornado thing if a uh, certain if the enemy has a certain like elemental like effect on them so say like pyro or hydro then the tornado kind of gets this pyro effect and they're taking damage the animal damage and the pyro damage or whatever is getting hit so it, it's really really cool and he's just he helps so much because you don't have to worry about lots of enemies like swarming you or anything like that he just sucks them up uh, of course, the the problem is if there's like bigger enemies, say like law trolls or say just like the bigger enemies, the, the larger enemies in the game, then you you won't be able to suck them up. You can still do damage if placed the alt properly, but it just won't it won't really do the same effect as to the smaller and medium enemies. Another cool thing about the Skyward Sonnet, the elemental skill, it's if if you press it, it has a really short cooldown and it does a decent amount of damage. It it scales pretty well in the talents, and this is like his main energy recharge. The way that he gets particles for the Animo, Animo. I, I don't know why I keep trying to say Animo, but it's Animo. You could just basically spam his all. Like it's, it's it's actually insane. With like I think it's like a five second cooldown or something like that. And you just keep pressing it. You uh, you switch him out. Say say you have like D Luke. I use D Luke and Venti. So D Luke do a bunch of damage. Switch to Venti. Press that. Get the particles. You use all and just kind of back and forth because he's just built in with energy recharge. And if you have like the Forbonius War Bow or something that gives energy recharge, it, he's he's just insane support. And then if you have the four piece, uh, the veridescence piece, which does, it decreases the opponent elemental resistance uh, with the element infused inside the swirl, which is his alt does always hits with swirl. If you have like a pyro element in it, it's just, it, it's just insane amount of damage for how long. I don't, I, can't, I don't know how long the alt stays up for, but it's a, it's a pretty decent time. And that's like the really main thing about the, the four piece with Venti. It just kind of turns him into more of a, a kind of this support stuff dps he's also really good in the open world uh because if you hold his uh skywards on it it kind of makes this kind of like wind tunnel that blows air up in the air uh which is good and battle and in open world but i i mainly use it in the open world to like traverse uh to higher places or places that you normally wouldn't be able to get to or just harder to get to overall he's just uh, an amazing character honestly and i also do have a video kind of talking about more of his build and I, I can't remember if I did talk about his abilities as well, but I know I have a kind of like a build video that I've done. So I'm going to link that above as well. Uh, so you could go check that out if you're just interested in learning a little bit more about Venti and, and kind of like the build that I'm going for. But yeah, overall, this just kind of a little bit of an overview of the characters where I kind of want to go into a little bit more detail is that i feel like if you already have a main dps and you're really needing a really good support i would 100 percent go for venti but if you don't have a main dps and you're really and you're still looking for a really good damage dealer then i would roll for child but overall i feel like venti is just better in so many other places in child that getting venti is never bad like getting venti will make your entire gaming experience for Genshin Impact a lot better compared to Child. Uh, but Child would definitely make life easier with having a lot of damage output and like shredding enemies in the later of the game. Uh, but again, this is my opinion. If you have any other opinion, just leave them in the comments below, guys. But I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks again.